This is the Eco Bike Always, sort of a scooter style electric bike. And I'm just going to kind of jump in and talk about the different bicycle components. We've got pedals right here. Technically, you can pedal this around, although it only has one gear. And so, given that this is 140 pounds, it's not very convenient. It does have pedal assist, though, which basically, as you pedal, that activates the motor. We've got these kind of basic smaller size bicycle tires and aluminum alloy rims front and rear they're not going to go out of true they can support a little bit more weight and they've got these unique kind of like drum brakes front and rear in the back it's more of a, a band brake and they've got this cool hub lock so you can flip that up pedago bikes have a similar thing you, you've you know turn that and it makes it so that the wheel can't go so it's another way to secure the bike but be careful because if you lock that and you forget, you can kind of kind of wreck it uh, back here. Interesting kickstand, extra extra sturdy, kind of double sided like that. It's got suspension in the back and the front, sort of basic, but it smooths out the ride along with that cushy seat there. This one has sort of a it's almost like a brush guard or something on the front. You could add a rack here if you wanted, but this just probably keeps keeps the plastic in nicer shape if you accidentally bump anything. It's got lights, turn signals, these mirrors. It's kind of like a little Vespa almost. And yeah, essentially that's that's it. There's a decent amount of storage here. Aside from that front rack, you can put stuff in here. It's a little storage area for, um, you know, whatever kind of stuff you've got, like a wallet or whatever. There's under the seat storage. And see the battery and the battery is removable on this which is kind of cool not a lot of like electric scooters can do that and, and actually upgrade this one can you can upgrade from uh, lead acid to lithium for uh, you know a lighter weight solution that's going to last longer there's the rear box and then this is kind of cool you know if you if you really wanted you could fit a couple people in here and it's got these platform rests so yeah, it's, it's meant to offer a lot of utility, you know, and, and I think you'd stay pretty clean on this with the front and rear fenders. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Pretty basic display up here, though, I must say. As we get into the ride test, I think I'll, I'll get on that a little bit more. So as far as the drive system on this, this is a 350-watt direct drive gearless rear hub motor, and it's sort of built into the rim. Pretty sturdy, very quiet and actually you know fairly satisfying when you ride this thing around it's it's got a little bit of zip there's actually four levels of of drive so you press this little green button in and with each press it gets sort of more powerful and then it's it circles back so it's like 12 mile per hour top speed 16 18 20. so 20 mile per hour top speed on this and that's technically that plus the pedals make it an electric bike back here with the battery pack this is a 48 volt 12 amp hour and again lead acid for about $300 more you could get a, a lithium solution and again it's just going to be a little bit lighter this is a 40 pound pack uh, right there but it is removable and it's got that nice handle if you wanted to charge it inside so it's kind of cool there we go I think that's about it I'm gonna hop on the bike and do a little test ride I did want to mention there's another security feature this has is this little like key lock thing you can swivel this and see how it blocks the ignition area right there. So that's cool. Let's get the right key. Insert it. There we go. Okay. I think we're I think we're go. Now I'm gonna get that kickstand down. You've got to push this little nub in. There we go. That always confused me at first. And there. Okay. There's the turn signals, by the way. Very annoying. Headlights, horn. And let's do the twist throttle. I'm gonna put you back by the by the motor so you can hear what that sounds like. Pretty quiet and you know good acceleration it's hard to know exactly how fast you're going it gets the job done 
Now I'm gonna do the pedal assist, but keep an eye on how my legs are positioned because it's kind of scrunched. Like, I'm not sure how much you'd actually want to pedal this thing. And the pedal assist is on sort of at all times. So anytime you start pedaling, it sort of listens and it's a little bit of a delayed reaction, but it, it's like, oh, and it sort of accelerates you. And then after you stop, it sort of drops off. So, pedaling and then the motor kicks in. You know, I'd stopped pedaling for a while. It was still going, um, but it's kind of neat that it has that and yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of it. So that's the Eco Bike Always. I think it's about 1400 bucks. So it's a little bit more expensive than the New York, which is like their popular model because it's just so cheap and uh, delivery guys use those a lot in New York. So yeah, for more info, pictures and stuff, check out Electric Bike Review and I'll see you there.